Have you ever wondered why Ethereum's movement on the chart has been criticized for not matching Bitcoin's uptrend? Well, let me tell you a story that might shed some general light uh, on this. It was the 9th of November, and Ethereum's price suddenly climbed above $2,000, uh, catching the attention of many in the, in the crypto community. Um, people were curious about what caused this surge, and soon enough, they found out about the BlackRock Ethereum ETF filing that had been made public on the same day. So this macroeconomic factor seemed to have a significant impact on the price increase. Um, uh, However, just a few hours after reaching $2,042, Ethereum's price retraced back to $2,004. It was a bit disappointing for those who were hoping for a sustained upward movement, but there was an interesting revelation by analyst Ali Martinez that provided some insight into this price action. Uh, Ali Martinez pointed out that there was a supply wall between $1,972 and $2,030. Uh, a supply wall refers to a price level where there is a significant accumulation of an asset indicating weaker selling pressure. In this case, 651,000 addresses had previously purchased 33.5 million ETH within this price range. It was a crucial area to watch as overcoming this supply wall would require a substantial increase in volume. Uh, despite this obstacle, the Ethereum clan managed to break through and push the coin's value above $2,100. At that moment, ETH was being traded at $2,127, marking an impressive 18.49% increase in just seven days. Uh, but what about the sentiment surrounding Ethereum? Well, according to sentiment, EKH's funding rate was 0.028%, suggesting high interest from long leverage traders and a bullish sentiment. This unusual spike in the funding rate prompted AMB Crypto to analyze the price target set by traders. Uh, on average, the short-term projected price for ETH was around $2,153, indicating a bullish outlook. This sediment was further confirmed by the weighted sediment metric, which was high at Born 88. It meant that comments about ETH were mostly positive, with only a few negative ones. Because, uh, moreover, the short-term holder not unrealized profit loss showed that ETH the holders has moved away from the capitulation phase and we're now in the hope corner with signs of moving into optimism. This indicated that the broader market believed Ethereum's uptick had just begun and that there might be more room for growth. So if you're wondering whether your portfolio is green, you might want to check the ETH profit calculator. And remember, investing in Ethereum can be a roller coaster ride, but as they say in the crypto world, why did the Ethereum investor go broke? Because they lost their ETH. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, magic.